Morning. Okay, we're gonna do um, a brunch cocktail uh, that is savory uh, with a kick of spice to it and no tomato sauce whatsoever. So if you're a person that really wants to jump in and enjoy some some great cocktails for brunch in the morning, but you don't want a, a, a typical Bloody Mary because you don't want that tomato, this is your drink. Okay. Um, there's two of these actually posted on the on the web page and um, or on the YouTube page. And um, I'll, I will adapt those and add in some names and titles and things like that later. But right now I'm just trying to get them out there so that you can enjoy your Sunday brunch. Um, all right, so this one is a little bit um, trickier because you do have to find a good peppered vodka. This one's a little bit hard to find, but this is an amazing peppered vodka because it starts off with a lot of heat on the tongue right away. Um, and then it, it goes away and so it doesn't just burn forever afterwards, um, which is really nice for to to be able to sip and enjoy it. You get that, that pepper flavor, a little bit of burn, and then it mellows out pretty quickly. Um, we're also gonna pair this with a bacon bourbon, um, just for a little bit of that fun bacon flavor. Um, this drink, by the way, I was sipping on it last night when I was playing with it and I was in eating some bacon while I was doing it. Um, it pairs amazing when, you're, when you have bacon, you know, so if you're having it with your breakfast, uh, it's excellent. And then we're gonna throw a little bit of pineapple um, rum in there as well. So let's jump into this thing. All right. Um, so we're going to just do this in a shaker. All right. And we're going to do, um, am I muddling? I think I am going to muddle on this one. Is that correct? I'm trying to recall how I did it last night. Yes. So um, we're doing two wheels. You could add as many wheels of this as the spice that you want. So right now we're just gonna do two wheels of the jalapeno because we're already using that peppered vodka. But if you want it spicier, kick it up, have fun, okay? So we're gonna go two wheels of that and we're also gonna do um, two chunks of pineapple because I don't want this to be overly sweet. Uh, we just want it to pair. We just want it to be like this nice balancing game, okay? So that's what we're doing there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in some lime. I'm just doing a quarter of a lime, which is about a quarter ounce, okay? So we'll get that in there. And if you wanna measure it, you can certainly do that because not all limes will give you the same amount of juice, you know? So you may very well wanna do that, all right? And we only need a quarter ounce of uh, grapefruit as well. I don't need much coming off of this thing. So excited. I'm actually planting my own citrus trees finally. So I have a grapefruit tree and a lime tree and a lemon tree and an orange tree. All right. Quarter ounce of that. And that's all we're putting in there for the fresh stuff. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and muddle that up. I love me some Dan Hicks back there. I'm so sad that he passed away too long ago. All right, um, let's go ahead and do the peppered vodka. I'm gonna go three quarter ounce. Right. And then we're gonna go three quarter ounce of bacon. and a half ounce of the pineapple rum. That bacon um, bourbon actually does have a little bit of sweetness to it, so that's why we don't want to do too much of that. <clears throat> you get just enough flavor, just a, it's a subtle bacon, but it's, it's nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one, we're gonna put some tapatio in there, so I'm gonna do two dashes of that. Great. And that's it, that guy's ready to ice down and shake, okay? Before we do that, we're gonna take the lime or grapefruit, whichever one you wanna do. I'm only gonna do, I'm gonna do half of that rim there. And we're putting this uh, bacon salt 
on the edge of it. There we go. Okay. And we're ready for some ice. So carefully get some ice in the glass without knocking your salt off. down our shaker as well. Alright. That's it. This thing is going to be topped up with a uh, tonic. So much good flavors in there. And we are going to double strain this just because we muddled that fruit and pepper in there. You know, if you want, it's just like a Bloody Mary, if you want Tabasco in there, if you want horseradish in there, I mean, whatever you want to do to make this the savory kick that you want, you know, go for it. Do whatever you want. Customize it. Have fun with it. Um, again, the sole purpose of the, what's in the ingredients of it is um, simply to make it fun and savory without using the tomato juice. Okay, so it's a little bit long. Let's go ahead and trim that down. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. We're gonna top up the tonic. It's still longer than I want that to be. There we go. Top up the tonic. And this one, the only other garnish we're doing, we're not adding any any peppers to it or Anything we're gonna throw in this bacon that I just cooked up this morning, and that's it right there. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Cheers.